Welcome back to Lucky Tech. Today I'm gonna review this Jones Bow Low Profile Cooler, Jones Bow HX 6200D. This low profile cooler costs about 45 bucks for the black version or you can say the non RGB version, and for the white version, it costs about 47 bucks and comes with the RGB fan. I interested with this cooler because it say it has 200 watt TDP from the box. 200 watt TDP means you can cooling 12700F with full performance without having thermal throttling. If it's really true, then this low profile cooler is really powerful. So let's unboxing this cooler and we test it. Now let's test the cooler performance. First, I test using Ryzen 5600X. When I overclock to 4.7 GHz, my system shut down itself because the temperature reached more than 90 degrees Celsius. I need to lower my overclock setting to 4.65 GHz and it reached 88 degrees Celsius which barely below 90. Inside the PC case, you won't be able to set 4.65 GHz since it will be hotter. Next, I using Intel Core i7 12700F. When I set power limit to 150 Watt, the temperature reached 97 degrees Celsius, which really hot already. I lowered the power limit to 135 Watt, and now it's running at 88 degrees Celsius, which same as my resin setting. However, inside the PC case, it might be hotter than this test. Well, from the test result, I am quite disappointed for this cooler performance. It's not really what I expected. For Ryzen 5600X, it cannot even cooling my Ryzen 5600X for 4.7 GHz overclock. And for my 12700F, it's just barely enough for 150W, which is almost thermal throttling. This cooler can only cooling up to 4.65 GHz for Ryzen 5600X which is consume around 110W plus a little and about 135W for my 12700F and that is at open air test. If you put this cooler inside your case, it might be a little bit hotter based on your case airflow. Well, I don't know why Jones will put 200 watt TDP limit at their advertisement. It's just a fake advertisement. I don't know why they get this 200 watt TDP. 
Even though if you using 11 gen processor, this cooler may be just barely enough to cooling up to 150 watt. So yeah, I think this cooler should be labeled as 150 watt TDP instead of 200 watt. This is wrong advertisement. Okay, that's all from me. If you like this video, please press like and subscribe. And don't forget to check the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.